Giorgio really sees himself as part of a 400,000 year heritage of mark making and painting and sees the mark or the, the brush stroke or the line of the pencil as a sign which is both ubiquitous but accessible to all of humanity. It's a language that we can all share beyond linguistics. So for him, whilst his peers in the 1960s that were part of the modernist movement of Arta Povera were wanting to find ways to abandon what they saw as um, painting being stuck in a space of representation. He really believed that painting still played an essential part of life and culture and the way that we navigate our way through the world. Whilst his peers were abandoning painting to instead find a way to express these problematics through more sculptural and object-based practices, Giorgio really sought to embrace the contradictions and complexities and difficulties within painting and has stuck with them throughout his career. His earliest work from the 1960s is represented in this exhibition and continues up to works that he's made this year. His work is really part of a continuation of this fascination and dedication to art's presence in the world. Throughout his practice, he has sought ways to remove all of the unnecessary parts of painting and bring it back down to its core being and existence. And you see this fluidity in a process and a way of working and a dedication to that process through his works from the 1960s through to today. The materials that Giorgio works with are his collaborators in many ways. So he works on large canvases that he spreads out on the studio floor and that allows him to work at a vast scale when he wants to, some of which you can see in the exhibition here. And then he dilutes his paints, whether they're acrylic or watercolours, and the paints seep through the, the canvas onto the floor below. So I was really fascinated visiting his studio and being able to see the history of paintings that he'd made over the previous days and weeks and months build up on the studio floor. And in a way, each of the paintings act as this diary of his daily thoughts and discoveries and explorations of these subjects. The canvases that he uses are always unprimed and unstretched and the edges are left raw. And so you'll see in these works, they fray at the edges and they have this liveliness to them. Each of the works are folded in his studio. It has this practicality and this beautiful conceptual value to the works as well. And as the fold imprints itself on the canvas and on its materiality and its formation, it almost becomes a sculptural item in the world also. And Giorgio talks about the fold as being a form of line making, mark making also, in the same way as a pencil might mark a paper, the fold marks the fabric. The folds themselves also have a life that continues beyond his hand and beyond his lifespan, that once they're out in the world, they are hung very loosely on the wall, and these folds fall out depending on how long they're exhibited for. But then they're re-imprinted on the surface, um, reintroduced to the essence of the canvas um, once they go back into storage. And this space of folding and refolding will continue uh, into the future as long as the canvases have this life in the world. Working horizontally on the studio floor, the work almost becomes time-based and performative as well, and those elements are wrapped up and absorbed into the work. And so not only do the materials um, the tools and the paints and the fabrics that Giorgio uses become embedded in the narrative and the story of the work, but also the movement of his body, the movement of his hand and his gesture across the studio floor. All of those things become a part of the story of the work. 
And so the way that Giorgio sees it is that the work is a synergy or a collaboration between him and these materials. Unlike more figurative painting, perhaps, he's not trying to represent anything other than the way that the materials operate in the world. And that in itself is a representation of um, the universe and existence. So he talks really beautifully about um, the physics or the presence of physical understanding within the works, that a photon is absorbed into the pigment of the colour, but a new one is created. So just from light reflecting on the canvas, there's this way of capturing this essence of the physics that are around us all the world, but we rarely pay attention to. This really comes into the fore with um, his repetitive brush strokes. And you see on some of these works, and it's certainly something which is, he has played with and repeated time and again in his work, right from the late 1960s and early 70s up until today, is repetitive horizontal and diagonal lines. These kind of repetitive rhythms that are at play all the time around us, the mathematics, the way that the world operates, but that we rarely pay attention to, really come to the fore in, in those works. And often in those works, he also cuts that pattern or that rhythm short. So as these linear patterns infiltrate or spread over the canvas, normally from one side, their lineage or their trajectory is cut short. The painting is in some way left incomplete. And for Giorgio, this is really crucial and fundamental to the work the sense of the work continuing into the future, the sense of infinity within a pattern of continued repetition. <laughs>